package from Amazon has just arrived. It came earlier than expected. I was expecting it sometime next week. So I literally ordered nails, guys. I ordered two sets of nails from Amazon. These, there are 500 in each box because as you guys know, I'm back to doing my own nails. I really wanted the ballerina shape, so I'm gonna try these out. I hope they're sturdy, I hope they're good. And then I got some, oh my God, what bird is that? I got some got to be got to be glued. Yay! Sunny! This morning I just put them all in here because the packaging got ruined. Um this morning I got this Urban Decay delivery. Um it's the Urban Decay All Nighter spray, but it's in the XL size, so it's pretty big. This is 240 milliliters so it's quite big so that's great and um i've just received this new um kills youth dose eye treatment with pro retinol so i'm going all the skincare that i'm getting now i'm gonna keep it aside for winter because i'm on a specific regimen right now from dr alec so i'm gonna wait until i finish that regimen to try new stuff I tried shooting another flash day this morning, but I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to wait until I go to a restaurant to take this travel size event thermal water. It's for a campaign that I'm shooting. So that's why I'm doing it. It's so hot in Cape Town today. I'm not showing myself because I look like a mess. <laughs> I need to try this wig on. Um, it's on my tripod. <laughs> And um, I had it colored, my hairstylist did an ombre vibe to it. So since I just got that got to be glued, I'm going to try this on. I think I'll try it tomorrow because tomorrow I have a meeting outside. So I'm going to try it out with the got to be glued and see if I can actually style it and rock it. I personally don't think it suits me. I feel like it's too short. Something is missing, like something just doesn't make sense. But I'm going to try it on tomorrow for you guys and see how it looks but i really love the color i really love how she did it it's it's really stunning um i look decent well my version of decent i want to try these nails one nail came off so i want to give it a whirl i've just had a telephone meeting I've shot some flat lays for a campaign that I'm doing but I didn't like them so I think I really want to go to like a restaurant and try a little bit of lifestyle scenery in the back and then um, and then I need to write up a blog post so that's why I'm sitting at my desk I was originally sitting in the other room, but um, it was too hot in there. I don't know, like something about the, the roof traps heat in that room. So I need to open up my windows a bit more, let the air in. I don't want to use a fan. And I get crackalacking. Suffer. I know, fluttering angle, right? My nails are popping off. Is this God? Is this God? These nails just arrived and my nails are popping off. This is the campaign I'm working on. I don't know if you can see that. Avin. It's some thermal spring water. This is a small, medium, and it's a very large bottle. I love this stuff so much. Especially on a day like today just to give your skin an, a hydrating boost and even though like I've washed my face this morning you still feel like 
start sweating. You still feel a bit ugh. You start to feel a little bit sticky and gross. So, taking my Neutrogena wipes and just wiping off any sort of. Oh, I got caught in my hair. Any sort of gunk. Since I've been shooting. Okay, while my face is drying, I'm gonna open up one one box of nails. <gasps> Guys, this looks so good. These really look good. They're very long. So it's the ballerina shape and they're very long, obviously. So what I'm gonna go out and get either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow is a nail clipper you know those like ones that they use in the nail salon because i have a regular one because this is pretty thick this is pretty thick and sturdy and i'm gonna pick up some nail glue because mine is finished as well i have an event on thursday there's a fashion show that i'm going to so i think these will be apropos apropos for that so i really love the shape you guys so that's what the pinky looks like i really do think they're a little bit long not a little bit they are very long so but i love the shape so i literally got a thousand i got a thousand each case comes in five with 500 and i got two this um the hydro boost neutrogena wipes are so hydrating i often feel like <clears throat> I don't have to put anything on like this, so I'm just taking my oven. And it's spring water, so it's nothing like so refreshing. This is what I'm eating tonight. Uh, Moroccan chicken couscous. I still haven't been grocery shopping. So buying Woolies dinners is very unsustainable. Mm -hmm. So I am still yet to grocery shopping so that I can cook a meal plan, a meal prep for the week. But this is okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about the couscous. But this is fine. If this doesn't fill me up, I'm also going to have some chicken breast that I bought as well. So I'm just going to pop those in the oven and have them be already seasoned. So I might just have those um, later. Hello. So I just got to Tasha's now um, for my meeting. what I should order um, I'm getting used to people looking at me I guess they look and they wonder like their eyes their eyebrows they look like they frown like what's going on and then they get over it well, I think they get over it there's Twala I'm not late for once guys because it always looks like I'm late everywhere I go but I'm not late today nail came off yesterday this one came off yesterday too I need to go and come on how are you? Hi. I don't want to give you a hug <laughs> how are you? Oh, you look so pretty thank you I'm like obsessed with brown and white polka dots really? I, I, I've worn this dress once and I don't know if I like it so I just ordered a cappuccino Okay guys, complimenting for what this Um, do you have um, panna aqua still water? Uh, aqua panna still water? You got it You check that for me Thank you I'm watching Yeah but I'm gonna inquire about this burger and maybe I can get rid of the bun. So we'll see. There's 12. She had an accident on her top, so don't look at that guys. Better to get it out of the way before you start wondering to yourself. Hello, 
can't we use it just for a picture? <laughs> no, I don't want it. No, I really want it. Um, oh, yeah. Aquapana. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's fine. Leave it. Yeah. Guys, I'm in such a good mood today. You actually would not believe I'm having such the most amazing day, the most amazing news. Not everyone can say that, but I literally feel like crying. I feel very overwhelmed and um, ecstatic and. <sighs> Look at my nails. I did my nails last night. I opened up these these new oh I moved them. The new nails that I ordered from Amazon um, that arrived. I <clears throat> I applied them on yesterday. I really really like them. I mean look at that guys. It literally looks like I went to the salon. They were very very long, so I cut them. I cut the length quite a bit. Um, but I did stop doing my nails this long for a while, but I'm very comfortable with this length. The shape is the ballerina shape, that's how the nails came. But when I cut them, I think they turn a bit more coffin shaped because obviously they're not as long and they don't thin out, you know, right to the top as well. So, amazing, so happy. I'm not heading to the gym today. I went to the gym yesterday. I think I'm gonna sort of work out a sustainable, doable schedule for myself so this business of doing gym every day it's not sustainable for me because i get everything very quickly so what i've decided is that like i will go when i want to go but minimum i have to go monday wednesday friday and if i want to go tuesday i should go tuesday if i want to go thursday i could go thursday but but mandatory is monday wednesday friday and then um so i'm gonna go tomorrow because i really have a bit of work to do today um a blog post for a client which i've been procrastinating since monday right um i think i need to take up an order because i think i'm getting a headache i need to or oh, maybe i should have a coffee i have a cappuccino with almond milk because i need to finish that almond milk and then um what else i'm having a bit of a breakout on my face I don't know if this is new skincare products. I'm gonna contact my the doctor um, who gave them to me to try out because I can't recall if he said I should respect I should expect a reaction. But these aren't acid-based products. These are just very simple products. Anyway, oh yeah, I want to have a cappuccino with almond milk and then I'm going to try and make some breakfast. I'll catch up with you guys later, but I really love my nails, guys. Um, today is Friday. I just came from the gym. 
I'm feeling fresh. Today was a swimming day, so I just spent my time in the pool while husband was on the weights. Oh. Um, so now I'm super hungry. It's um, well into the afternoon. So I'm hungry. We're gonna have some food and chat. I'm gonna try and hustle a date night. Just wearing this dress from. I feel like this is from. Fashini. I want to say Fashini. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So I want to show you guys what I do on a Friday night. Champagne with berries inside. I think I'm a little bit tipsy. <laughs> and online shopping. That's all I do. TV is on. I'm literally watching um, House Hunters. I feel like it's House, House, House Hunters Australia. I'm not sure. But um, yeah. So I just got out of church. Um, my vlogging has been so bad this weekend. I really thought I would do exciting things, you guys. But it turns out. Nice <laughs> uh, but we're just gonna have lunch as we usually do. But this time we're gonna go to and yeah, have a beautiful day. I wanted to get my sandwich, my toasted sandwich, and they said they can't give it to me toasted because the toaster is broken. And I said, okay, um, is it still going to be the same price? And they said yes. That makes no damn sense to me. It's no longer a toasted sandwich. I must toast it myself. I'm doing half the job for you, right? I don't know. I was like, no thanks, I'll go to Woolies. And I still ordered a coffee from them, and I shouldn't have, because I'm going to Woolies. So I popped into Woolies to get breakfast and lunch. Well, breakfast and a snack. Um, <clears throat> actually, probably breakfast and dinner. So I'm gonna have this chicken Caesar wrap now. And I have a salad that I need to put in the fridge. I want to show you quickly what I got this weekend. Um, yesterday after Camps Bay, um, I later on went to the mall. Um, I didn't intend to pick up anything, but I just decided that I needed it. Um, so I popped into Lush. And I went in to get two travel size, some travel size body washes because 
I have my favorite like body washes and I don't ever have the travel size version of them and I hate feeling like I'm compromising on my routine whenever I travel so I just picked up um, 100 gram no, 100 yeah I guess it's 100 grams or 100 milliliters of shower gel in my favorite um are they flavors favorite i don't know happy hippie favorite scents happy hippie and textures whatever happy hippie and raining men it's raining men so i love this i'm traveling quite a bit in march so um these are check-in baggage approved because of the size obviously so that's what i got from from lush i really like it's raining men for winter and i like happy happy for spring summer um these are my favorite out of all of them i mean i have smelled all of them and all of them actually make a lot of them make me like cringe when i smell them but these two i love so much and then i do get asked quite a bit where i purchase my rings so when i do when i have like rings and stuff on my hands where do i purchase them from i just go to la visa guys and i just get them from there the quality is not good at all know that you're not gonna these are not gonna last you more than like a month because obviously if you're gonna wash your hands and stuff they do get a little bit rusted i just picked up these rings yesterday um, I really like gold and I'm liking this like antique -ish sort of like vibe So um, I like this. I'm still looking for like gold plated Rings or these sterling silver rings that can last me a little bit longer um, But I haven't found the ones that I really really like I know apart from like obviously like proper Gold and stuff from like Celine which is so expensive. So I'm trying to look like for brands that i can shop locally that have good quality pieces that are also on trend and cute but i really really like these um the visa always has beautiful stuff they really have beautiful stuff they always have a sale going on um it's just that the quality is not really that great it's like will start rusting so yeah so that's it on the agenda today is a bit of work i have a speaking engagement next week so i need to prep for that i need to do a whole powerpoint presentation i'm quite nervous um i'm having a bit of <sighs> um i had a bit of anxiety about it yesterday like i really wanted to call my friend and just cancel and say actually i can't do this i can't do it but um you know what like i have to start doing speaking engagements like i have to get over this fear and i just have to try it and i'll get better and better with it as time goes on um you may think i'm a very confident person but i stammer and stutter a lot when i'm like very nervous obviously that also happens when i haven't rehearsed something so it comes like with like panel discussions and like q and a's and stuff where people ask me questions and I have to like answer like on the spot like sometimes like I lose my train of thought and I start to ramble and stuff so I really want to practice like public speaking so this could be a good way to start at least here I have notes and I can look at my notes and talk and stuff like that um, unfortunately my friend won't be there she's in San Francisco so that also adds the pressure as well but yes yeah, so I need to work on that this morning and send it to her by close of business today and then I'm also gonna try out this wig that's on my stand today. That is from Her Given Hair. Um, they do a lot of like Afro textured hair and wigs and stuff. And that has been literally sitting in my office for ages. My colorist just colored it for me recently. Got it back about like last week, I think, two weeks ago. So I need to get that on and I want to try it out I really I said in a previous video that like I don't know if it suits me but I have my got to be glued gel now so I'm gonna put it on properly and really see one if got to be really is popping because obviously I'll probably use it and if, I guess it is so I'm gonna try it on this wig and two if I can make the big work it was came black pitch black but I had my colorist do a little ombre 
situation on it. But you'll see that closer later. For now, I need to eat, get cracking on some work. It's a no play day, no play day today, and then um, hopefully I can go to the gym this evening. So one YouTuber I'm watching a lot of lately as I'm about to get into my food is Samantha Maria. Obviously she's like an OG and she's been in these YouTube streets for years. At least I say decades. <laughs> she's not that old. Um, and I'm just falling back in love with her. Honestly, I think she is um, such a humble sort of... Um, you know blogger but she's also like on the pulse and on trend with things and she and she sets her own pace like she's in her own lane she sets her own pace and she has her own niche and her own interests which aren't like really um well that's the impression i get which aren't really polluted should i say that word by you know what's happening around like in the greater in the greater deal of in the greater scope of you know influencer trends and social media trends and whatever the case may be she really stands out for me and i've fallen back in love with her i just have like i've been watching her videos non-stop for this past weekend like even if it's in the background i've watched a few back and i'm i'm just i love her vlogs i'm loving her travel diaries specifically um i've watched all of her travel diaries the santorini the new york the dubai um and also her like favorite spots in like london she'll do like um the best coffee spots or her favorite coffee spots in london her favorite places to take uh instagram pictures well not like a stat but like she'll include that in the vlog as well i love her travel series i really love it i think it's so good i think it's because i really want to get into travel and stuff so um i'm just really loving it and it's making me feel really inspired to vlog so much more because it's just making me feel so inspired to like vlog stuff and have beauty incorporated within the vlog as opposed to you know but that's not official i'm just saying what i'm feeling and and the inspiration i'm getting from her is amazing i really like her so much i'm i'm obsessed and i really really like that so yeah <laughs> So yeah, really enjoying that. So I'm going to watch her while I have my breakfast wrap and then I'm going to get cracking with my work. So the time now is 20 past 3. I have finished my speech. Um, it feels good. Um now i just need to put this in powerpoint form because obviously i'm not putting this i'm gonna read from this but i need to have like obviously a presentation on the wall my eyes are so sore staring at this computer so i sometimes wear glasses while i work because <laughs> my eyes get so sore um so yeah all right so i'm trying out this uh wig <laughs> And it's probably my last chance to wear it before we get into autumn winter because I definitely feel like autumn winter is for bobs and straight hair. Summer is like afro textured hair and stuff. I need to wash my hair. What I do these days is I part my hair down the middle and then I, that's how I, I put in a wig. I try not to tie it too tight because sometimes I have made that mistake when I tie too tight and I, it's very uncomfortable at the base of my neck. So, for the most part, the hair is flat around the head. And I just have my pigtails and then I take my wig cap or my wig stocking. And I, on the inside. So it gets.
it's pretty flat well i haven't added an elastic to the wig yet it did come with one i haven't added it it fits me pretty well so it's a frontal just gonna put it on guys don't laugh because i really don't think this suits me I just wish it were like a little longer that's my thing so I found myself sort of like parting it on the side because I feel like that's the only way it looks decent on me basically I feel like I don't even need got to be glued for this but I'm just gonna use it anyway because I've never used it before so that's the look that's the look of the wig essentially when I wear it I think it looks nice as a side parting when it's in the middle I don't even think y'all want to see that it's too much height I feel like around the I don't know all right so what I'm gonna do is I think for this wig I actually need my hair to be in corners because this takes up a little bit of space okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, wipe this down again. I'm gonna apply some got to be glued at this point I don't even know how much I'm actually supposed to put on Is this a brush I use for my masks? I'm gonna have to wash this very good. <laughs> I think I should just blow it. Let me continue with my work and then hopefully this will have set after a few minutes when we can have a conclusion. You'll not believe my mistake. It's a few minutes later, maybe like 20 minutes later, and the scarf stuck to the glue. So the wig looks intact. Oh! The wig looks intact, but the scarf is stuck down with the glue. So there's the wig down here but the scarf is stuck with glue so I'm taking water hoping that oh my god Cynthia hey oh that's a bit better it's not as painful if I don't Synth. <laughs> okay, this this part is not painful. That's not so. That's not so. I think it starts getting painful. We 
with this hair involved when this hair involved oh <laughs> like I was trying to take I just was like trying to take the the, the thingy off and I just realized that <laughs> do that wow so this is what I've been missing out on this is what got to be does it's so stuck down all the way around here all I wish is that this my um this is All I wish is that I could have been a bit more strategic with the with the baby hairs, but I'm gonna try and see if I can salvage some loose hairs. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just more impressed about the fact that this has stuck down. I don't like the look of these baby hairs. Something about it is just so artificial. I'm not vibing with it. What'll be nice is when your makeup is done. It'll look cute. The hairline hasn't been tweezed. Nothing like that. So it could definitely look a lot more natural. Um, I'm just more excited about the fact that this got to be actually stuck the hair down. Wow. So yeah, this is the hair. It's from Her Given Hair. Um, they specialize in like this afro textured sort of hair, kinky curls and stuff. Like I said, my colorist, my hairdresser did the color for me. So it comes in this like 1B shade. I need to wear this as like a summer dress, something off the shoulder, a little bit of makeup on and see how I really feel. Otherwise I was gonna gift it to my mother <laughs> because she really likes it and she doesn't have a wig. So anyway, all hair information will be down in the description box. Below. I'll also give you the links to where I bought my got to be I just ordered it from Amazon it came like more than a week before it was scheduled to arrive so that was amazing and it came in a pack of two so I have enough to last me quite a while I think I could have used a lot less I used a lot of glue um, I guess when you would do your makeup you would sort of like clean up where the excess glue is and then you will just like apply your makeup as you usually do I don't know so that's it guys my card is now full so I'm gonna wrap up this video here um, thank you so much for watching yet another vlog um, thank you for being patient with me because you guys responded to my Instagram saying that you were happy with it being uploaded on Monday so that's that's, that's thanks to you and yeah, I'll be back on Thursday with a tutorial this time.